Hello, Mr. Angus Wangus here. Just want to make a short video uh, of something I've realized. Probably a lot of people have realized this, I don't know, but I'm not too sure I've heard it ex or explained or described this way, I don't know. There's a lot out there and we all can't find it all, so I'm just kind of maybe putting it out there. The concept, because it's really kind of cool, I think, is that uh, this Ed Lead Scalman's PMH as he talks about in his book, uh, Magnetic Current, how to make it, right? This is it. And one thing he does is he taps these leads of these coils. These are wound in the same direction. That's how he tells it in his book. Uh, not like I'm using on my wheel. So this coil would make, let's say, a north here and a south here. And this coil would make a north here and a south here. And the magnetism goes around in the, in the core indefinitely and there's been a uh, few people out there that have done the experiment and left it sit for a long time and then uh, finally after they let it sit for a long time <clears throat> they to test whether there's still a magnetic current in there they put a light bulb across these um, terminals and then yank the bar off it pull it off really fast right and the light bulb lights up. So I was thinking about it yesterday and um, it's very interesting because in a sense this is really kind of like the ultimate capacitor really because that's what a capacitor does right it stores a charge and then as soon as you use it right um, it dumps the whole charge at once right kind of like this idea but um, it, it, I realized yesterday, the day before, that this could be thought of as the ultimate capacitor because there's no leakage. You know, guys have shown that you can let it sit for, I think, a year or longer. Guys have done it, you know, and the energy stays in that core. So um, maybe Ed was using it in some sort of capacitant, uh, capacitor way as well. I've heard someone talk. I've heard someone mention that the box above his tripod could have had the PMH in it, right? But to go along with it, I just wanted to say, and I've said this in a past video, that when Ed described how to make this PMH, uh, he described it in a way so as to keep that current in there, right? Solid iron bar, right? And the solid iron keeper. Um, and that keeps the magnetic current in the um, in the core there, this U core. But I'm not too sure th that the PMH I'm starting to see that Ed probably didn't use this design right here against the wheel. Now maybe he did, I don't know, but this is just a thought because I see from other pictures that the thing he has against the wheel there is not that big uh, PMH he's known to have had. But um, yeah, this thing was designed to keep that magnetic current in that core. Now I think that if we were going to use this bucking coil, uh, the bucking coils the way I've uh, found to use them with the passing magnet, um, I think there's a better design. I think that something in a laminated core would be better. Um, and other differences. I don't think this, this shape is good either. Um, but it's just a thought. I, I want to let people know. <clears throat> a lot of the times, I love all the, the sites out there. There are a lot of really good stuff. And I read as many as I can find. But a lot of times, too, I think about how a lot of it could be wrong. You know, like none of us knows for certain these things that we speculate about. You know, because we weren't there to see him do it first of all. And no one's replicated anything really other than this PMH um, for keeping the current in the core. And I was just thinking about this. And Ed's, Ed was very misleading himself. In Magnetic Current, he told us how to make this PMH, right? But he also told us to use these aluminum spools, right? Now, it's my thought that if there were aluminum spools on here, the current might not stay in that core. I don't know. Um, but um, 
and he also told us to enshroud the coils in iron connected to the core, cover them um, for efficiency. But all things we have to figure out and things lots of other people are thinking about too. So I just want to put this out there. This thing's a capacitor. It's the ultimate capacitor because it doesn't leak voltage. It doesn't leak the energy at all. You, you can let it sit for years, I think. But, um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, here's a picture of Ed's wheel, him next to it, right? And you can see, I think, that that's, I mean, I've seen a other picture of his big PMH, you know, and this isn't it. You know, this is different, and it's very different back here, and there's some good sites out there that speculate about that. I want to know more before I start speculating on these videos about it, but um, I don't know. I think there's something to be figured out here, too. Now, regardless, I think that um, Ed was uh, telling us to use, or he didn't tell us. I had to figure it out, but it's from his books. Uh, where was that great picture? No, of course I can't find it now. But, um, I, I think we have other things to try. Now, I've been working at my wheel the last day or so and had it apart, and tonight I'm going to have it apart again, and it takes a lot of time, but just wanted to keep you up to date on that, too. Um, oh, I have found, with this thinking in mind, um, that this probably isn't the best design to put up against the wheel with the bucking coils. Um, I have tried something else. Again, I don't want to speculate. Uh, now I'm going to make a video within a day or so, showing you guys what I found. But I'm um, pretty sure I found that uh, way to use the the electricity from the cores, um, the same as shorting them. So, but I need to test more stuff on that, and I'm working on it right now. Um, and I'll have a new vid soon. Just wanted to put that out there. I think this is like the ultimate capacitor. But uh, I'll have a new vid for you guys soon. Uh, moving a little slow the last day, so. But also working hard at the wheel and um, had it apart and more to come. I'll have a vid showing you guys the, uh, I have in the last two days had uh, an improvement here. But um, I want to, th there's more that, that can go with it that I want to try before I make a video. And I'll be doing that very, very soon. There you go, guys. Uh, just any thoughts you got about this being a capacitor. It's very cool. He could carry that around for years with no leakage and, and use the, the electricity whenever he wants. But anyways, there you go. Uh, new vid in shortly, and I'll talk to you later.